My name is Robert Crawford. Um, I was with the US, uh, the US Air Force for a little over seven and a half years. I was part of the stealth program and then became disabled from my, uh, from my Air Force career during the Desert Storm. And then in, in May, I started actually the actual training in May, I think, believe it was May, well, May 5th. And it was like three times a week, about an hour each time. And then August, I was able to bring the equipment home. I'm scared. Let's <laughs> get So stairs is a new feature that's recently been approved by the FDA, and this is allowing veterans and other individuals who have the device to go to accessible areas that were previously unaccessible, doing stairs and curbs. So he's learning how to transition the device, how to move the device forward, and trust the device to lift him up and do something that he hasn't been able to do for quite some time. In the beginning, doing the stairs, it was actually, going up wasn't bad at all. The curb and going up the stairs was great. Coming down the stairs, first, first looking down, it was like anxiety started building up. There's a lot of curbs out there because there's a lot of places out there aren't ADA compliant as far as wheelchairs or any type of, even crutches per se. So with the legs being able to go over curbs, that's a big plus right there. I um, mean, I can still do steps, which is great, it's a plus. That way I'm not limited. Um, I don't feel so trapped in my wheelchair anymore.